our prayer is that this will have an incredible impact um, with deaf people uh, around the world, especially that goes into theaters. And because it's made by deaf or deaf, maybe deaf people would be willing to go and see it. And so that's our prayer, that their, their hearts would be impacted by Jesus. Hi, everybody. I'm Cheryl Crisp for Movie Guide, and this is Coffee and Conversation. Hi, Joseph. How are you? I'm doing great. You are working on a very exciting project. For the first time ever, a movie is being made for the deaf by the deaf about the story of Jesus and his ministry and his time on earth. Tell us about the movie. Oh, certainly, yes. This has been an exciting journey. Um, we are so excited to have, for the deaf community to have this movie that, with which they can have a natural connection. Our cast was deaf. There's no barriers in this movie. They don't have to depend on captions by looking at what's happening on the screen and then down at the subtitle or at a at an interpreter in the bottom of the screen like you and I are doing right now. Like, you know, as, as deaf filmmakers, this was our heart being put into this. It's not just the movie, it's not the content of the movie, but it was the prep behind it and how we placed the cameras and everything that goes into a movie was deaf focused. This is such a beautifully well done movie. What are some of the unique challenges that you faced making a movie for the deaf by the deaf? Well, there was a number of challenges, of course. We didn't want it to be just the character of Jesus that was deaf, that was using sign language. We wanted everyone to be deaf and be using and using sign language. I mean, if you think about even we had to think we also had to think about when Jesus was on the cross and the sayings that that were that he the, the words that he spoke on the cross. And you'll have to see the movie to see how we figured that out. But there were as for other challenges as well. You know, we had the typical challenges that a movie might encounter with location issues, um, weather challenges during uh, filming. One funny instance that we ran into, we needed a boat for the scene where Jesus is walking on water. And we were like, where do we find this boat that, you know, do, do we have to make one? Because it doesn't look like boats look like nowadays. And so I reached out to the producer of The Chosen. I, they had a boat. I thought maybe we could rent or borrow their boat. If we were going to be filming at the same location that they film at um, in Louisiana, uh, the studios that they use for water scenes. And they were ecstatic to let us rent their boat. And so we worked all of those logistics out. And it was the kind of the that item checked off my to-do list. Then we ran into some scheduling challenges where, uh, because of actor schedules, we had to reschedule our time of using the boat. And I reached out and I said, oh, no, we're actually using it right now. So that fell through. So we uh, I got in touch with our uh, artistic team and I said, hey, we got to find a boat. This was several weeks before we were going to film that particular scene. And we found a boat, uh, uh, a reasonably priced boat in Utah where um, uh, our office is based in Iowa, so that's not incredibly far, but a team a team member drove over there through the mountains during the winter time to get the boat and bring it back over here to Iowa. And we were so excited and ready, and our artistic department got ready to start working on it. And they said, um, this isn't going to float. <laughs> and I said, What? I, we don't have the time for this not to float. And so we dropped everything with that one, and we got a team together looking for another boat. We found one, brought it in, still had to do some rehab on it to get it ready. Uh, but we ended up having to take it with us to, uh, to Texas while we were filming, filming at Capernaum and then drag it over to Louisiana while we were even getting ready to put it in the water in the next few days and finally got it ready the day before we put it in the water. Uh, so what an experience that was. The hats off to the team that got it all together. Joseph, this project is very near and dear to your heart. 
Um, you have five children, two of your oldest are deaf, and you adopted them from Liberia. Tell us about your heart, your passion behind this project. Well, I'm, I'm grateful that Jesus has been a part of my life uh, for, for many years. And um, I, being deaf, obviously, I'm a part of the deaf world. Uh, most of the people that I spend time with are, they, sign language is their language. And, um, uh, you know, I'm blessed to have access to resources. I mean, hearing people in general are blessed to have resources, but deaf people, we don't have access to those resources. They have to be interpreted or they have to be subtitled. And so our access is very limited. And so as a deaf person, my heart has been, how do we portray Jesus' love in sign language? And so I wanted to see a movie like this made. I, I grew up uh, in my mind almost always being in sort of this filmmaking mindset. And as a deaf filmmaker, I, I wanted to, is to see a high quality product given to the deaf community that portrays the life of Jesus and do it with deaf people. There are an estimated 11 million deaf people in the United States. And because of limited resources, it's estimated that only two to 4% are Christians. That is astounding. Tell us about Deaf Mission's goal to reach one of the most, the largest unreached communities in the world, the Deaf. Yeah. Deaf Mission's has goal, Deaf Mission's goal for many years has been to effectively communicate the gospel to Deaf people through media and resources. And we've been doing it for over 50 years. Uh, we are the organization that had the privilege of completing the first ever complete Bible in any sign language. And we our, our heart is not only to have something like this available in American sign language, but to make it in such a way that other deaf communities around the world can do something that we've called sign dub, so change it into their sign language using our content and maybe some of the scenes in the movie and with new AI technology and that sort of thing. We don't know exactly what that's going to look like. God's going to have to lead and, and, and help us figure that out, but we're excited about that. And as of, I would say as of now, you know, there are even now other deaf people in other countries that have seen some of the, um, you know, announcements about this and that sort of thing. They're saying, hey, just let us change the subtitles into our country's, you know, majority language and we'll read it uh, as best we can, or we'll put an interpreter on the screen or something like that until it can be available in our heart language. So there's a desire to see this go worldwide. You are giving the deaf community an opportunity to hear the good news. What would you like them to know about Jesus? Well, I would want them to know Jesus' love, that Jesus um, wants to offer forgiveness through his work on the cross to everyone. Jesus desires to have relationship. And so I think that's the key. He wants a relationship with every deaf person. What has the reaction been so far to the film, and what is your hope for the movie? Wonderful questions. We've uh, shown the movie at a couple red carpet uh, events, three, in fact, three different premieres. And uh, just, uh, first of all, I mean, just all of the work that led up to those moments, we just weren't sure how it was going to work or, or whether it was going to work. I mean, you know, when you get so deep into the project, you might have questions like, is this going to work? And is this going to have this, this feel that we think it's going to have? But after those premieres, I mean, it was almost like everyone was just frozen in their seats at the end of it, looking at each other, thinking this is amazing. I mean, we had comments of people saying that they, there was, there was, they just could not stop crying. Some said, I, I, I didn't know this part about Jesus's ministry or Jesus' life. And, so there's been a number of different responses, but all of them very positive to this movie. 
it's opened people's eyes to Jesus, um, the ones that have seen it so far. The second part of your question, our hope is that uh, our, our prayer is that this will have an incredible impact um, with deaf people uh, around the world, especially that goes into theaters. Maybe those who are resistant to the gospel will be willing to go see it in a movie theater. And maybe they consider that sort of a safe place um, for you know non-Christians to, to go and, and see the movie. And because it's made by deaf, for deaf, maybe deaf people would be willing to go and see it. And so that's our prayer, that their, their hearts would be impacted by Jesus. But I, I do want to add also, I mean, it's not just for deaf people. Hearing people can benefit from the movie as well. There's captions and beautiful music behind the movie as well. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.